Now you're welcome back here to Newcastle West where the two teams are out for the second half. Interesting St. Sinans didn't return to the dressing room. They stayed away to our left-hand side down here while Drumcolour Broadford went back to the dressing room for some words and I'm sure some harsh words, John Kyo, that their season is very much on the line here. Lose this and St. Sinans or Drumcolour Broadford don't make the knockout stages for the first time in a long, long time. Indeed, Liam, yeah. You, you, you'd imagine there would have been harsh words said it. For a club like Drum, who've won seven titles since 2000, 2003, I think, you know, they expect better themselves. They, they set a certain standard and they haven't lived up to it in this game, haven't lived up to it all year. And it's, it really is make or break time from now on this, for the next half hour. Well, mathematically, I suppose, it, it still would be possible for them to make knockout stages, but uh, realistically, they would face other results, uh, hoping as well, and uh, they win possession of it straight away, and Gerard Gorman sets off on a run, and this would be just the start they wanted, but it's gone to the left and wide. That is their seventh wide of the game. They reckon it was a point, but the two umpires, we don't have the uh, use of Hawkeye here in Newcastle West. Well, if they don't have it in the Gaelic Grounds, we don't have it in Newcastle West. Won six to five, seven wide of the game for Drumcolour Broadford. They could rue those opportunities. Yeah, they've missed a lot of chances. A lot of it down to St. Sennans' good good defensive play. But Jorg Armour would have expected to score that now, and it would have given them a big lift at the start of the second half as St. Sennans attacked down the left with James Nocton. Well, Podge Mullen is the umpire to our left. He's said uh, the Hawkeye man as this one is James Nocton. He's true. Oh, it's goal. Oh, what a goal from James Nocton. Pretty much picked up possession of it across on the far side. About uh, 50 yards out from the goal on the sideline. Ran at the heart of the drum colour abroad for defence. And that is a super goal for St. Sinans. Just the start they would have wanted to the second half. What a goal from James Nocton. He's been a star player on show today, Liam, and he's just emphasised it even more there. Picked the ball 50 yards from goal. He was a brilliant run by him, but Drum have to, they, someone had to come out and tackle him. They didn't. He took advantage and slammed it home. A goal and four points for James Nocton, the captain of St. Sinans, and every single one of them from play in this game so far has given his side now a seven-point lead. And real question marks now being asked of Drum Colour Her Broadford as Gerald Gorman comes on the attack with this. Back towards Michal Brosnan, looks up for the option. Back towards Kevin Noonan, four points to his name in the opening half, kicks that one in, but it goes to the left and wide, and this or right and wide, I should say, on this occasion. The eighth wide of the game for Drum Colour Her Broadford. They're second of the second half 2-6 a total of 12 for St. Sinans 5 points for Drumcolor or Broadford a 7 point lead for St. Sinans as the second half well long way to go in this game yet but that's a fine take in the air from Ger Hanlon and he's won the mark and plays this one forward as St. Sinans again look to come on the attack with Stephen O'Connell he's been fouled the referee has said it's going to be a free and he's gone down as Stephen O'Connell just 2 minutes of the second half gone a 7 point lead and well real question mark now for drum colour Broadford yeah they're early I mean, I mean it's in sentence to lose from here it, it seems to be just, just back on Kevin Noonan's sh shot there their second wide at half they seem to be rushing their shots just St. Sennans are getting just enough just close enough to put them under pressure but it's a huge huge task now for drum to get back into this game and keep their season alive well, the ball is down the far side of the field now and St. Sinans look to come forward with this one and again, it's James Nocton who's in possession of it on the 45-yard line. Lays this one back as far as uh, Dara Wolf and Wolf further up the field now towards Morris Fitzgerald. Takes this one forward on towards the attacking 45. St. Sinans just holding up possession, waiting for that uh, gap to appear and James Nocton looks to try and get through on this occasion. Afterwards, Adam Kearns. Kearns fists it in and puts it over the crossbar and, uh, well, St. Sinans extend their lead still further Adam Kearns with the latest point 2-7 now to St. Sennans five points to Drum Colour Broadford but Drum Broadford have no answer to James Nocton no he again key to everything St. Sennans have done well tonight again another run picked it up 50-60 yards from goals ran at Drum drew in a couple of defenders laid it off to Kearns and Kearns tapped it over Good kick out won by uh, Gerald Gorman down this near side. Off towards Garrett Noonan. You can see the urgency in drum colour of Broadford now as they stream forward. Off towards Derry McCarthy right on the 45 yard line. Good ball inside. Finds Kevin Noonan. Noonan flicks it off towards Mial Brosnan who comes on the attack on the 13. Kicks it in and kicks it over the crossbar. Second point of the night for Mihal Brosnan. 
both uh, one in either half both from play and Michal Brosnan has gotten one back for Drumcolor Broadford a much needed one it has to be said two seven to six points now a seven point lead for St. Sinans and is this the start of the comeback for Drum? Well, Drum will be hoping so but the, the, the feature of that attack Liam they, they move the ball much quicker around quickly into Kevin Noonan he led it off to Michal Brosnan despite some attention from good for good good attention from the St. Sennans defence tapped it over they'll be hoping but now St. Sennans have a free and they'll slow things down again they will and they've every right to as well and I suppose uh, there's a lot of talk about game management these days with uh, Dublin footballers and what they do in terms of over and back across the field and just holding on to a lead St. Sinans haven't started that yet but uh, Ger Hanlon is in possession of it plays it across the centre and uh, lays this one picks up by Ger O'Gorman and he in turn now finds Derry McCarthy back inside his own half looking to set defence to attack fairly quickly as McCarthy plays this one towards the far side of the field from Colour Broadford race on the attack now Sean O'Sullivan a lot more urgency to them at this stage now as Dennis Dunnigan plays this towards uh, Derry McCarthy kicks this one in but again it goes to the left hand side and wide ninth wide of the game for Drum Colour Broadford almost in double figures five minutes of the second half played here in Newcastle West and Sinan's go with the short kick out just about works out for them James Bridgeman and uh, Kean Walsh combine and Walsh eventually plays this forward to R Richard Hayes who's all in his own and his acres of space in front of him sets off on a run man played inside trying to run on to it as James Nocton the flick on towards Nocton this will be a super goal what a save by the goalkeeper James Nocton that was super skill from St. Sinans and again they ripped through the heart of the Drum Broadford defence we're enough for a fine save by James Noonan and now Drum Colour Broadford bring this one clear from Derry McCarthy towards the defensive 65 yard line could that be the moment that Drum Broadford will look back on that will say will save their season here is Dennis Dunnigan plays this one. They need a score to come from this, though. One would feel Mihal Brosnan from one end of the field to the other. Brosnan has lost possession of it. Wins it back again, though, on the 45. Back to Derry McCarthy. Looks up for the option. None really forthcoming. Have to go on a line across the centre of the 45 yard line. Screaming for it in this near side is D. O'Leary. Mihal Brosnan goes the far side, though. Now back towards Derry McCarthy. Need to get a score from this, you feel, do drum colour Broadford. Sean O'Sullivan, hand pass inside towards Dennis Dunnigan. He gathers it, held up though, lays this ball back towards Kevin Noonan, the captain. Spins one way, then the other. Good defence by St. Sennans. Not diving in, not conceding a free so far. Derry McCarthy kicks this one. Poorly, it has to be said, and St. Sinans have done well to defend that one, and away they come with this one now. Well, that could be a crucial couple of moments in this game as Rio Flaherty brings this one away. What can St. Sinans do from here? Off towards the man of the match without a shadow of a doubt so far, James Nocton. Now towards Stephen O'Connell. O'Connell holds it up, finds the support near side from Darrell Wolf. on towards the 21, now towards Conor Milan. Near side of the field, a right-footed effort from Conor Milan. Flight it in, brilliantly gathered. Here's an opportunity of another goal. It's in and it's over the crossbar from Adam Kearns. Could have been a goal. Rose above everybody. One possession of it. He'll take the point so, two eight to six points and now an eight point lead for St. Sinans, John. Could have been more Liam, but Adam Kearns decided well he probably went for a goal and went over. But just before that, brilliant defending from St. Sennans again. You know, Drum Broadford had had me all Michael O'Sullivan inside operating at full forward. Couldn't get the ball into him. And then just before that again, St. Sennans with another chance of a goal. Brilliant move. James Nocton by lovely hand pass by Conor Milan. Great save from James Noon who's kept Drum Broadford in this game. And I'm just looking down the side now. The evergreen Ray Lynch about to come in for Drum Broadford. Yeah, Ray Lynch going to uh, come on for Drum Colour Broadford in just a moment. The referee has uh, spotted something there off the ball. St. Sinans were on the attack there. And I think he's calling over a Drum Colour Broadford player. I think uh, trying to see who it is. Is it Michael Ryan crossing that uh, far side that's going to pick up a yellow card? And uh, as John says, Ray Lynch does come on to the field of play down here beneath us. In fact, I think it's the captain, is it, that's uh, picked up the yellow card. But uh, Ray Lynch is on, and I think it's Dennis Dunnigan is the man that he has replaced on the uh, team for Drumcolour Broadford. So Ray Lynch for Dennis Dunnigan. 
as uh, St. Sinnons take the free and opt from Ray Flaherty to go all the way back to the goalkeeper, Kean Walsh, who came out in a bit of a run to the 21-yard line, but it has worked as Dennis Dunnigan slowly makes his way off down here in front of us as uh, St. Sinnons now in possession of it with uh, Ger Hanlon back there inside his own half-back line. Finds the support from Stephen O'Connell. Spins away from the attempted challenge. Goes forward this. The referee plays an advantage for an off-the-ball foul there. Uh, it was um, Ger Hanlon that was making a run up the centre and his run was checked, the referee has said. So St. Sinnons have the free, which they have taken quickly. And, well, for descent, it's been advanced a further 10 yards as well. So things just not going the way of Drumcolour or Broadford here in Newcastle West this evening. No, they're not. It's just I'm just looking around at a few of them. That th there's a few of the bigger lads in the team that seem to be out on their feet at the moment. St. Sinnons could take advantage of that if they, if they keep their speedy forward play going. Just something to watch in the next 10 minutes. Well, the free for St. Sinnons sent by Morris Fitzgerald. Long ball inside. A couple of drunk colour Broadford players gather possession of it and afterwards Garrett Noonan. Noonan comes away with this. Meanwhile, there's a little bit of grappling going on, I think is the uh, handiest way to put it on the edge of the semicircle. So the referee is held up playing. Connor Milan, I think, just using a bit of experience there. He just held the drum colour Broadford player knowing that the attack would be brought back and Connor just shown his uh, few years of experience there. He'll probably pick up a yellow card, but he won't be too worried about that? Not in the slightest Liam knew exactly what he was doing and slowing down that potential attack further on Broadford who now have another sub on seems to be that uh, Gerald Garman's coming off and on is number 22 Damien Burke so Damien Burke is on and I think the referee is actually going to throw the ball up between a couple of players is the decision is it? Which to me is an interesting one because the advantage should certainly have been with Drumcolour or Broadford and should have been a free out for them. But he's going to throw it up. So Conor Milan has done exceptionally well there. But, uh, well, Drum Broadford win possession of it anyway. With Michael O'Sullivan lays this one off. And coming forward, this one is Derry McCarthy. Hand pass towards this near side of the field. Finds Keith Lacey, who brings this one forward. Back to Derry McCarthy. Long ball sent inside Michal Braslin. Bit of a hospital pass. And I think he's picked up a, a fair knock on the shoulder there as uh, Michal Braslin. Roslin, who was speeding to try and get to that. He has plenty of pace, but uh, just picked up a little stinger on the shoulder there. And this is going to be a free, I think, or maybe the referee just stopped playing. Not sure it was a free. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see what way play is going to restart here because uh, St. Sinnons were in clean possession of it, so they should have a free, but you wouldn't know. I think he's, uh, uh, yeah, Conor Milan did pick up a yellow card inside there, and he's hobbling inside there now. Seems to be... Uh, uh, Connor Milan way inside on the right hand side but anyway we'll follow the flight of the football as St. Sinnons get that free and they come forward now with James Nocton a goal and four points to his name so far beautiful little flick forward towards Ray O'Flaherty Flaherty on towards the 21 yard line midway between the 21 and the 45 across on the far side Nocton again holding up possession of it decides he's going to go backwards with this one to Morris Fitzgerald right in the halfway line and he in turn plays it towards Dara Wolf, but too much on it out over this near stand sideline and I suppose that's just one thing maybe that St. Simmons don't want to get into the habit of is uh, being too smart with it I suppose John and, and just uh, making silly mistakes like that yeah that was very lax from them Liam there was no need to, to, to play the ball where, where it was played just just something to watch with St. Simmons now that they don't take it handy they're after getting they're lucky with that hand pass more of a throw from Drum Broadford but they just have to keep, the, keep their wits about them now they're well on top just need to dr drive it home here from here Two, eight to six points, the scoreline here. Stopwatch says 12 and a half minutes played of the second half and St. Sinnons uh, have another player down injured. Meanwhile, uh, Kevin Noonan, the drum colour Bradford captain, has just picked up a yellow card, so it obviously wasn't him that was yellow carded a couple of minutes ago. So yellow card for him, for Kevin Noonan. And the stopwatch, well, as I say, it's ticking away all this time in favour of St. Sinnons, who hold an eight-point lead here. Two goals and eight points for St. Senna and six points for Drumcolour or Broadford. And are we seeing the, uh, well, I suppose the the first of uh, what would be a huge uh, story if Drum Broadford didn't make championship knockout. James Nocton is true again. He's still going, still going, Nocton. Spins it back. Here's an opportunity and a point again for Richard Hayes. But James Nocton is just cutting through the Drum Colour Broadford defence. We said it earlier, they just don't seem to have an answer to him and it's Richard Hayes that gets the point. Yeah, he's just ripping through them at every every opportunity, Liam, you said. He's doing it at ease. 
There's nothing Drum Broadford can do with it at this stage. Maybe take him out, I think, is the only option. They don't even look like they can get close enough to do him. But, but uh, and another chance here for St. Sennans. There sure is, as they walk through again. An opportunity. Oh, what a save. Oh, no, it's a miss, in fact. I thought it was a fine save. It was Richard Hayes who had a goal in the first half. That was true there. And his effort goes to the right-hand side and wide. And that a huge let-off for John Broadford. But they are being ripped to ribbons. Absolutely, Liam. Again, from nothing. Just an run straight through the middle from St. Sennans again there. A huge chance for Richard Hayes to put this game to bed, but at this stage, it doesn't look like it's going to matter too much. Two goals and nine points to St. Sennan, six points to Drumcolour or Broadford. They need a goal. They need a few of them, you feel, and need them fairly quickly here as uh, Michael Ryan has possession of it, goes to ground, referee plays the advantage as the ball played into Wiley Old Ray Lynch, gathers possession of it on the 13-yard line. The hand pass wasn't really the best from Ray Lynch, but the referee has said he was being pulled and dragged. It's going to be a free, free going in favour of Drumcolour or Broadford on the 13-yard line. And, uh, well, they'd want to be in a bit of a hurry to take this. And Kevin Noonan is standing over this one. Four points to his name so far. And you just look at the uh, range of scorers. We said it at half time off fair, But uh, you look at it. Drum Collar brought for just two scorers in this game so far. And Kevin Noonan has hit the upright with that one. And it comes back down and St. Sennans come away with this one. And, well, I think that kind of sums up Drum Collar Broadford's evening, John. It does, Liam. Yeah, it's just systematic of their day so far. Nothing going right for them. We're talking there about the wily old Ray Lynch. Ray, Ray's pulled out some miracles over the years with Drum Broadford. He's going to have to pull another one out at this stage. I don't think even uh, uh, Lazarus could uh, pull out a, a miracle like this for Drum Colour or Broadford at this stage. We're at the midway point of the second half, but one never knows, says uh, Drum Broadford. One thing about him anyway, they certainly won't give up as they come forward in the shape now of Kevin Noonan, just on the 65-yard line. Hand pass towards Derry McCarthy, across on that far side. McCarthy plays this one forward, in towards Ray Lynch. It's like winding back the clock when you talk about Derry McCarthy to Ray Lynch. Now to Mihal Brosnan, in it goes into the hands of the goalkeeper though, and Keen Walsh again lays this one off, and uh, St. Sennans come away with this one now. Dara Wolf down this near side of the field. Hand pass off, finds Ray Flaherty, or uh, in fact it's Anthony Mulvihill back there. Plays this one back now towards that far side of the field and this time it's Ray O'Flaherty that has it further out the far side and there to bring this one away is Stephen O'Connell across far side uh, goes across the centre now and Dale Fitzgerald has it kicks it near side this time towards Morris Fitzgerald and St. Sinnons just in keep uh, possession stakes now at this stage you'd have to say as Anthony Mulville plays this forward uh, gets the return pass again down here in front of us is fouled by his opposite number the referee awards the free and the free is taken quickly and Sinnons through Ger Hanlon comes forward with this opts to lay it back this time as far as Adam Kearns further back now towards Ray Flaherty who runs onto this now towards the uh, James Nocton the main man for St. Sinnons this evening as this ball is brought forward now by Stephen O'Connell on towards the attacking 45 yard line looks up for the option lays it back again towards Nocton holds this one up on this occasion and decides to go long then that's a beautiful ball inside towards Richard Hayes who's out in front of his man 21 yards spins one way then the other gets past Jack Ryan gets the effort then the umpire has said though it has gone to the left and wide the umpire on this near right hand stick was about to raise the white flag the one on the far side said it was wide and for me the one and the uh, point flag was the one that was in the best position to make the call. I think he was, Liam, yeah. Like the St. Sennans players are incensed that it hasn't been given. It should have been given a look from definitely from our angle that it was over. But sure, as you know, it doesn't matter what we think in here. I think the umpire on this near side is going to win the battle. The flag has been waved. A point for St. Sennans. There is the white flag, but is it the white flag of, uh, well, I won't say it's the white flag of surrender for Drum Colour or Broadford because they'll certainly try on, but it could be a white flag that could result in, for the first time in a long, long time, Drum Colour or Broadford not making the knockout stages. As I say, mathematically, it still is possible, but realistically, it is uh, looking like a real uphill task for them now, John. It is, Liam, yeah. Again, you just see James Nocton again. Been, been the influential player in this game he got the ball great great moving from Richard Hayes for that score he, he dummied right and came back left and then tapped it over with his left after turning his man St. Sennans the, the biggest problem St. Sennans may have in the final quarter of this game is that the panic they don't they're not showing any signs of it at this stage yet but that's the only way I see Drum Broadford getting back into this game well 
this is going to be uh, free, I think, around the middle of the field. Is it 210 to six points? A 10 point lead here for St. Simmons. And they have a couple of players down again. I see Connor Milan just receiving a bit of treatment now to our right hand side. Shane Kelly going in, the coach for this uh, St. Sinan side. Uh, applied his trade, of course, with uh, Newcastle West for many years as a senior footballer and now uh, doing a, a super job, it has to be said here. The referee has awarded a free. I wasn't uh, watching what happened there from the kick out and uh, it's off towards Nocton, but he wants to call it back. Yeah, long ball in from James Nocton there, Liam. Saw that Hayes had gone inside his man. Dee O'Leary is the man in trouble. Now, from my memory, Dee, Dee was booked in the first half. He's only getting a note. Ref's only taking his name again. So looks like Conor Milan's day is done now as well. So Conor Milan is making his way off down here. And he's been replaced uh, by uh, Damien Kavanagh, who's gone on. Darren, Darren Kavanagh, of course. Yeah, that's uh, gone on the field of play. So Darren is on. And the free for St. Sinan's. And an opportunity here for them to extend the lead still further. 2.10 to 6 at the minute, a 10-point lead. This will make it 11, but I think it's gone to the left, has it? No, it's gone just inside the upright and over from the boot of Richard Hayes again. So that's now a goal and five points from the boot of Richard Hayes. We're talking about James Nocton, who's got a goal and four points. Richard Hayes has outscored him. He has, yeah, but a lot to do with it. Like James Nocton's scores have all come from play, but equally Richard Hayes has had a big influence for St. Sennans. He's operating now around full forward, in a two-man full forward line with Adam Kearns. Two big men inside that St. Sennans can now, if they want to, launch the ball in long and try and get the breaks from there. Something that Trump Broadford should have been doing from late in the first half. This will be a huge win for St. Sennans as it stands in the uh, group uh, of uh, Senior Football Championship. This would lift St. Sennans off the basement, putting the Piershig as the foot of the table. But of course, the St. Sennans will have played a game more than the Piershig. And Drumcolour abroad for just above them then on two points. So this will move uh, St. Sennans level on points with Mona Lean and Ballylanders. Adair, of course, topping it with three wins from three. Ballylanders, five points from their four games so far in second place and as we say this uh, puts uh, uh, St. Sinan's and Mona Lean level on points as here comes the opportunity for a free sent in from Kevin Noonan sent over the crossbar and that is drum colour of Broadford's just second point I think of the second half and the second half is 21 minutes old and well with a return of just two points you ain't going to win too many games with that 2-11 now to seven points yeah Liam it's just not that they've just not been good enough in the second half you know they, they haven't haven't they, they just haven't turned up really again and it's, it's a big worry for drum broadford fans you know you've, you've mentioned seven titles this in, in this decade or this century alone in the 18 years you know they've been the star team over the last over the last 10 years they've done they've done everything really and now it's just looking around at them is this the end of them you'd have to wonder well you certainly would of course uh, they gave us a, a wonderful memory against uh, was it uh, uh, Nemo Rangers, that famous day in the Gaelic grounds, going on to win the Munster Club Football Championship. That a uh, few years ago now at this stage, what was it, 2008, if I'm not mistaken, that uh, Drum Broadford won that. But anyway, here they come on the attack. They're a proud club as uh, Michael O'Sullivan plays this one forward. A uh, Hail Mary ball inside, but uh, the uh, prayers of St. Sinans are answered on this occasion as they come away with it. Away to our left-hand side now, and uh, here they come, building in a tap from deep inside their own half on the 21-yard line. 2-11 to St. Sinans. Seven points for Drumcolor or Broadford. A 10-point lead for St. Sinans as they're looking to bring this one clear now. Ray O'Flaherty under a bit of pressure, finds the support across on that far side, and they do look composed here for the last seven and a half minutes. It's just a case of seeing this one out now surely for St. Sinans as here they come uh, through Darren Lawler across on that far side uh, back towards James Nocton, further across the centre now to David Finnerty back to Nocton again, skips past the first challenge, still holds up possession of it, now finds Ray Flaherty down the far side of the field, lays this one towards uh, Anthony Mulvihill and Mulvihill up this near side 
as uh, they come with uh, Morris Fitzgerald towards Ger Hanlon. Hanlon back across the centre again to David Finnerty, holding up possession of it, the name of the game now for St. Simmons, and they could hold it around this 65-yard line for the remainder of the game if they want, as Ger Hanlon is in possession of it. Looks to try and uh, put on the uh, uh, speed uh, skills there and plays this one forward towards Adam Kearns. Two points to him, back towards Ger Hanlon. Hanlon on to the 21, hand pass off now as far as Richard Hayes, who kicks this one in. The Gary Owen, he might gather it again himself he's passed it to himself inadvertently 13 yards out under pressure from two drum broadford defenders lays this one back to darren Kavanagh. further back now towards ray flaherty kicks this with the left boot it's going to drop short into the hands of the goalkeeper who's met by a hefty shoulder by richard hayes and the ball is cleared and drum color broadford come away with this one now off as far as derry mccarthy off to his own 65. He's got pace as Derry. On towards the attacking 45-yard line. Looks up for the option. A wall of St. Sinan's jerseys just in front of him. It's a bit like uh, Ross Common jerseys, the St. Sinan's ones at this moment in time. And that's brilliantly robbed and brought away by Dale Fitzgerald down that far side. He hand passes it off. And now it's uh, that man, James Nocton, again, who's in possession of it. Towards the 65. Heads towards the 45-yard line. Still James Nocton going through. Hand pass this time. Well, he's human after all, it looks like. Not the best of hand passes. And it comes away from Jack Ryan. But I'm sure nobody in St. Sinan's will give out to him too much about that pass. As Derry McCarthy launches this one long near side of the field up goes the hands of Ray Lynch wins possession of it back towards Mihal Brosnan bursting through the centre Brosnan with the shot it's in and it's over the crossbar second point of the second half for Mihal Brosnan third point in total for the drum colour Broadford man and it's 2-11 now to 8 points for Drumcolor Broadford 9 point lead they're looking to make another change down here as well beneath us Damien Lacey I think is the man that's going to come on in just a moment but it's 9 points John 2-11 to 8 yeah it's goals they need now Liam and if Ray Lynch inside who's been double marked inside alone, still operating with a lone man inside around the square they need someone else in, in with him if they're going to get goals good play by Ray there though, to set up that score for me all Brosnan as Derry McCarthy shoots Another score. It is another score for Derry McCarthy. First one of the game for him. A much needed one for Drumcolor Broadford. 2-11 to 9. We're trying to uh, get the attention of the referee for Drumcolor Broadford to make a substitution here. But St. Sinan's player gone down injured inside. And uh, I think it's uh, Dale Fitzgerald, is it, that's uh, gone down injured. But uh, I don't think there's anything too much wrong with him. Probably just a little bit of experience there from St. Sinan's trying to slow it down after Drum Broadford have gotten, is it two in a row now? Absolutely what they're trying to do. Dale is one of the lads who hasn't been down at all today, so I don't think I don't, don't think there's anything too serious. A bit of a surprise to see Drum Broadford take Michal Brosnan off now though, when his goals they've needed and he's been one of their scoring threats all evening. He sure has. His uh, race has run down here beneath us. Is the race of Drum Colourer Broadford in the County Senior Football Championship run as well? Of course, they will have uh, another game to play in this uh, championship, whenever that may be. I suppose uh, mid-August, there or thereabouts. Uh, uh, first week in September, I think, is the uh, next round of games for Drumcolor Broadford to be involved in. The referee has said St. Sinan's have uh, overcarried it. It's going to be a free. Free for Drum Broadford, which they take quickly. Down the far side towards Derry McCarthy. They need a goal and a few points, and Derry McCarthy is the side of the point. We'll do at this stage. And um, well, they're crawling slowly but surely back into it. 211 to 10 points now. And uh, that's what, 17 points to 10, seven point lead. The stopwatch says three minutes of normal time left plus whatever the referee is going to add on. This would be some comeback if Drum Colour Broadford were to do it. But, uh, well, they'll need a goal, methinks, as this ball comes near side of the field. Trying to win possession of it is Ross Egan. He gathers it ahead of anybody else. And Egan plays this one now towards Kevin Noonan. Drum Broadford just firing everything forward now as Michael O'Sullivan plays this ball forward. Is it going to be cut out? Ray Lynch might get to it across the centre. It's one. Here's an opportunity for that goal chance. But it's gone to the right and wide from Damien Lacey. He just uh, had that brief moment where he thought he could get a goal, but it goes for Drumcolor Broadford's 10th wide of the game, 2-10 to 10, 6 between them. Yeah, huge chance with, for Damien Lacey there after his first touch. Bizarre clearance uh, by, by one of the um, St. Senna's defenders set up that chance. Maybe came too early for him as he's on the field and a huge chance for Drum Broadford to get back into the game. But yet again, they've missed it and St. Senna's now on the attack once more. 
to a scoreboard to our left is wrong it should be 2 11 to 10 it's 2 10 to 10 but we'll follow the football as adam kearns goes forward this one kicks it in it'll now be 2 12 to uh, 10 points in favor of saint Simmons. Uh, that's what the scoreboard should read to our left hand side shawnee roach uh, just uh, uh, a little bit uh, lax there in his duties obviously uh, following the racing in Galway this evening a little bit too intently as Darren Kavanagh wins possession of that plays up near side Dara Wolf plays this one forward now St. Sinans looking to close this game out and uh, taking it into contact was Richard Hayes kicks this one it started and looked good but it curled to the right hand side and why but I think the referee had awarded a free he was playing an advantage for a pull so it's going to be a free 2-12 to 10 points an 8 point lead for St. Sinans a minute 15 seconds left there's surely no come back now you wouldn't think so now Liam no with the St. Sennans they're just up the pace again the last couple of minutes after them from Broadford coming back into it a little bit Richard Hayes then he'll slow everything down taking this free it looks to be their day and a few, few very few could argue with it at this stage well here comes the free for Richard Hayes going to strike this one into the goal away to our right hand side into the domain goal here in Newcastle West as uh, he lines this free up the breeze that was there a little earlier has uh, dissipated again and no breeze really into his face here as he kicks this one that looks to be a good one door drops into the hands of the goalkeeper so maybe the breeze still blowing into the face of him there as he kicked that one drum colour Broadford look to turn defence into attack they need a goal they need a couple of goals and a couple of points tacked onto it as well in order to salvage something here but there's hardly time Derry McCarthy foul around the middle of the field the free sent near side but caught out and that is well won by Ger Hanlon well read by him lays it off now as far as Stephen O'Connell further out now towards Ray Flaherty back to O'Connell again who in turn finds Dara Wolf on this near side of the field Wolf brings this one clear as Wolf in possession of it towards Ger Hanlon Hanlon plays this one forward now holding up possession of it our St. Sinans that's the name of the game at this moment in time and Anthony Mulvihill has possession of it we're about to hit towards stoppage time here in Newcastle West 2.12 to 10 points we are in stoppage time now it's at the discretion of Michael Wolf of Patrick's Well Darren Kavanagh holding up possession of it in the middle of the field lays the hand pass back towards Morris Fitzgerald this victory as I say will move St. Sennans to three points on the table Drum Colour Broadford will have two points after four games St. Sennans will have three points after three games Darren Kavanagh plays this one forward and now it goes towards Darren Wolf. Wolf going forward with this one on he goes on to the 21 still going Wolf. hand pass outside towards Adam Kearns chance of a goal and it's into the net the icing has been well in truly put on the cake from Adam Kearns and St. Sillens a huge victory for them 3-12 now to 10 points and this is a huge victory for St. Sillens absolutely it is Liam yeah they, they've and, and one they've fully deserved no one you know like Daryl Wolf had all the, all the room in the world to run into there took the right option after a 50 metre run laid it off to Adam Kearns and a brilliant finish from Kearns to seal uh, a well deserved victory yeah, and uh, well, from the uh, kick out, I don't think it travelled the uh, required distance, I think the referee is saying, and uh, it's going to be a free. Uh, free here, change for St. Sinans down here beneath us. Ger Hanlon is uh, the man that has made way, and Darren uh, Dom Kearns has uh, come on the field of play for them. So here's an opportunity now. The referee just having a word with the goalkeeper inside there. So the state of play in the Senior Football Championship in this particular group will uh, run down through it and the permutations uh, once the final whistle blows. But the referee going to throw the ball up between a couple of players on the 21-yard line. It's won by Drum Colour Broadford as they look to come away with it. And the referee has said the ball was thrown. It's going to be a free or I think there was an off-the-ball challenge, yeah. And uh, Garrett Noonan is the man that's been spoken to by the referee. And the colour of the card from O'Sullivan. the referee, it's Michael O'Sullivan, in fact, that he's uh, speaking to. And uh, the referee has a word with him and gives him a yellow card. So a yellow card for the midfielder, Michael O'Sullivan for Drum Colour Broadford. And this a free for St. Sennans, dead straight in front of the post. And this will probably be the last play of the game, John. You'd imagine so, Liam. Yeah, just, just Michael, O'Sull Michael O'Sullivan maybe a bit lucky there. He threw the elbow back and Richard Hayes as he tried to come out with the ball. Ir irrelevant at this stage, I suppose, as well. An another six yellow cards were being told by John Reddington here. But yeah, back to, back to St. Sennans. They've, they've been absolutely immense from very early in the game. James Nocton has obviously been the star player. 
you know, ably uh, backed up by Hayes, and it turns out it's not a free and now it's a hot ball. But yeah, St. Sennan's fully deserving, and it gets them back into the championship. And maybe, as you've said earlier, that Drum Broadford's days could be numbered in this, but permutations will tell us different, maybe, as, as the next round of the championship comes. But yeah, very few could argue with this. It's, it's St. Sennan's have been massively impressive. Only after coming up from last year, winning the intermediate championship, got a bad beating by Anguel, tucked in the Munster final, but. It seems that it hasn't knocked too much to, hasn't knocked too much out of them since, and this this should give them a huge confidence boost going ahead for the rest of the championship. Well, Morris Fitzgerald has made way for St. Simmons and he's been replaced uh, there on the uh, field of plays. Here come uh, Drum Bradford again. Kevin Noonan goes forward this one. On he goes, brought to ground on the 21. The referee is awarded a free in, and the free in going in favour of Drum Colour Bradford. Uh, all too little, too late, but of course scoring difference. Uh, could have a huge impact on this and John Colour Broadford have to think about that as they drop that one in around the square shot goes in blocked on the goal line by St. Sennans and they breathe again but it's out of play for a 45 and uh, well John Colour Broadford going in search of a goal but uh, it's out of play for a 45 yeah eventually they put the ball in high ball broke to Patrick Stack hit it well but they're got the, the St. Sennans goalie Keen Walsh was in, in the right place right time then followed up with a punch out for the 45 to get rid of any danger. But even even if Drum got one at this stage, it wouldn't make much difference. Well, their scoring difference after this defeat at this moment in time is minus 22 on the uh, group table. So you're looking at that and uh, you're uh, seeing how we're there. Of six points in the group, Ballylanders of five, uh, Monolene with three, now St. Sinan's with three as well in the Piershig. Uh, underneath them John Colour Broadford with two points second from bottom they are really relying on other results now and uh, hoping that things go their way it's certainly out of their hands anyway from a John Colour Broadford point of view and you'd have to say looking highly unlikely as this ball drops in from Garrett Noonan referee says that is that it's all over St. Sinans have recorded a huge win here not just in terms of uh, the season tonight and for St. Sinans in terms of getting their campaign right Right back on track on their third attempt they get their first victory in the senior football championship of 2018 they have a draw to their name already they now have a victory on top of it it puts their season right back on track but at the other side of it is that the end of drum color broadford's uh, campaign in terms of reaching knockout uh, football championship for another successive season we'll have to wait for a, a few more weeks to find that out but this is a huge dent for them but for st sinans john it's a huge boost for them Absolutely, Liam. Yeah, as we were saying earlier, like they've they've completely dominated the game. That they've been a better team throughout from from pretty much the first moment. And you know, you you Sennans badly needing this victory to keep their hopes alive. As I said a few minutes ago, just up from intermediate. But the likes of, we we've said it throughout the game as well. The likes of James Nocton, especially and Richard Hayes, ably backed him up. Massively impressive from them. From Drum Bradford's point of view. It doesn't look good. They look very sorrowful leaving the field at this stage. You know, the heads down, as you'd expect after such a defeat. After the Ballylanders game last week, another heavy defeat. They stayed out in the field for long periods after. Shawnee Buckley, who's a huge absence for them yet again today, spoke to every one of them. He was the man in the, they formed a circle around him, trying to inspire the lads. It clearly hasn't worked, and it just looks now that the Trump Broadford are out of it. Well, there you have it here in Newcastle West this evening. It's a big victory for St. Sinans. Three goals and 12 points to St. Sinans. Ten points to Drum Colour Broadford. Hope wherever you were watching, you enjoyed our coverage here on the Sporting Limerick stream. We'll be back, of course, when club action resumes uh, after the uh, All-Ireland series we'll have hurling and football championship to bring you here on Sporting Limerick but from uh, us all here in Newcastle West this evening my thanks to John Kyo for his analysis Raphael and Luke on uh, Luke Liddy on camera and Raphael Rocca who looked after all logistics here in Newcastle West it's finished 3-12 for St. Sinans 10 points for Drumcolour Broadford <laughs>